explain how to simplify this nice algebraic expression with the use of Pythagoras theorem. Can that be possible? Let's learn how to solve for x plus y in square root of x squared plus y squared equal to 613. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics content. Now, since these two uh, questions on the left and the right hand side are carrying a square root, and to do away with that square root, we need to square root both sides. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. We'll have the square root of x squared plus y squared, and we're going to what? To square both sides. And this will be equal to 6, 1, 3, or what? Squared. So with this expression, you come to see that this square, we simply clear this square, and then we'll be left with x square plus y square and this will be equal to 6 1 3 square now let's compare this with a pythagoras theorem from pythagoras theorem you come to see that we have a square and a square plus b square is equal to c square or we can simply say that c square which is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides right so if we have a triangle if we have a triangle let's say we we'll have a triangle and this is a triangle if we want to know the sides of the triangle you should know that this side is one and this side is one and this other side with this will have this as the square root of one because if c is equal to uh, c square we can get the c side to be equal to one square plus one square and that means c square will be equal to two and then if we take the square root of both sides we're going to have c to be equal to square root of uh, two so the side will have is 1, 1, and then square root of what? 2. That defines the size of a Pythagoras theorem. Now we're going to consider a Pythagoras theorem as we simplify this. From the Pythagoras theorem, you come to see that we're going to have these variables. We are given x, y, and 6, 1, 3. Uh, we're going to put them in uh, insert them as uh, p taking the place of p so from here you can see that if we apply that into that expression you come to see that we'll take p to be equal to the first part which is going to be x p will be equal to x so we we'll take p to be equal to x so if p is equal to x which is the first part that means we can be able to find y and 613 and 613 represents the hypotenuse so our 613 will be equal to our 613 which is the hypotenuse c is going to represent it is going to be represented with z because we'll have our z square equal to x square plus y square right if x square x is equal to p then z will be equal to 6 1 3 right and that will be equal to considering this whole part you come to see that our z will be equal to uh, if we have the first part x to be p square plus if this part represented by 1 is equal to as z square right so if this we divide this part by 2 remember as z square is represented by p square plus 1 equal to is represented by the square root of 2 that we see over here right good so we're going to consider that to be the square root of 2 so if we take the square of both sides you come to see that this square will clear this square and will be left with what? p square p 
plus one equal to two. So if we decide to divide both sides by two and divide both sides by two, we'll come to see that these sides will give us one, which is still equal to z, and then the value of c will be p square, that is p square plus one divided by two. Now, if you check this other side, you see that our value of y, which is more like the, uh, the adjacent, this is the opposite of this angle, the opposite, this is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse, which is the, uh, this is the hypotenuse, the z, this is the opposite of this angle, theta, this is the adjacent, y, the longest side, stands as the hypotenuse. So this is going to be p square minus 1 divided by 2 because it is the opposite side. So from this part, we can see that the value of x, y, and z have been replaced with the uh, letter p. So from here, we can simply simplify this expression. From this expression now, we can see that our x square plus y square is equal to 6, 1, 3. So from the value of z, we can get the value uh, of value of p because there we have that our p square, right, plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 6, 1, 3. So from this expression, we can simply find the value of p and the value of p will be equal to p square plus 1 equal to 6, 1, 3 multiplied by 2. So our p square plus 1 will be equal to 6, 1, uh, 3 multiplied by 2 is going to simply give us 6 times 3 will give us 6. That will give us 6, 2, and 6 times 2 will give us 12. So the value of our p will be equal to p square will be equal to 1226 minus 1 and then our p square can now be equal to 1225. Now to find the value of p we are simply going to take the square root of both sides. So we'll have p square to be equal to the square root of 1225. And what would this give us? This is going to clear this, and then the value of our p will be equal to, p will be equal to the square root of 1225 is going to give us uh, 35. Because square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of uh, 12, if you simplify it, is going to give us 4 times 3. Uh, which is equal to uh, 3. So the value of our p will be 35. So if we have gotten the value of our p to be equal to 35 from the expression on that Pythagoras theorem, we can find out that we can easily find the value of y. From here, we can simply find the value of y because the value of our p is equal to uh, 35 and recall that our p is equal to x so the value of x simply is equal to 35 so if we find the value of x we can simply find the value of y using the opposite of that uh, triangle if we find the opposite of that isosceles triangle we're going to see that this is going to give us this is going to give us y equal to p square minus 1 divided by 2. So if we have this, the value of p being 35, then our y will be equal to 35 square minus 1 divided by 2. So 35 square is going to give us our y will be equal to the square root of 35 will give us 1, 2, 2, 5, minus 1, and this will be divided by 2. So the value of our y will be equal to 1, 2, 2, 4, divided by 2. 
So our y will simply be equal to this will give us 6, this will give us 1, and this will give us 2. So our y will be equal to 6, 1, 2. Now from the initial expression, we are asked to find the value of x plus y, right? So we're going to look for the value of x plus y. The value of x plus y is now going to give us the value of our x plus y will now be equal to 35 plus 612. And 35 plus 612, then our x plus y will be equal to this is going to give me 7, 5 plus 2 is 7, and this will give me 4, and then 6. So the value of x plus y that satisfies that question given to us is 6, 4, 7. Now it's going to be interesting if we can check if this expression or the solution we get is absolutely correct. Now let's check. From the initial expression, we are given that x squared plus y squared, the square root of x squared plus y squared, should be equal to 6, 1, 3. Now let's check that to find out if that expression is actually correct. We are given uh, the square root of x squared plus y squared to be equal to 6, 1, 3. With the value of our x, equal to 35 and the value of our y equal to 612 can we get 613 as the square root of the square of these two values let's find out we're going to have the square root of 35 square plus the square root of 612 square is it going to give us 613 now let's simplify that the square root of 3 5 that is 35 is going to give us 1225 plus the square root of 612 is going to give us the square root of 612 is going to the square root of 612 is going to give us 3 7 7 5 4 so we're going to sum these two and then find the total square root. If we sum this, we're going to have the total square root of 3, 7, 6, right? 7, 6, 9. So if we take the square root of this, it will approximately give us 6, 1, 3 point, uh, point uh, some certain variables. So this will give us approximately 613 which tells us that the solution we have here which is x equal to 35 and y equal to 612 are absolutely correct for our correct solutions for the expression that is given to us so the value of our x plus y is 647 as given to us in that uh, option, in that expression above. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more uh, simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching, and bye-bye for now.